Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Julie, nice to meet you. And today, I'm going to be DIYing a beer pong table. I'm so excited for this. Well, I worked on it with my new roommate for a really long time, for about a week. It took like a whole week of my life. It is finally done and I am so excited. I think this is one of the most exciting things I've done since quarantine and like one of the most productive things, not gonna lie. Like I was just constantly busy and I was like, well, haven't experienced this in a while. I'm of drinking age, I'm 21. And who doesn't love a good beer pump cable? Even if you aren't 21 or you don't, you choose not to drink, I'm gonna call it a beer pong table but you can use it for anything you can use it for water pong or whatever it's I just feel like it's just a necessity in college or just an apartment to have so it was again a long process not as long as I thought it was gonna be but it was still pretty long there was moments of frustration there was moments of happiness so we're gonna go through all of that I vlogged a lot while I was doing it and I just thought that I not only show you guys how I did it but share additional tips and things that I learned that I wish I would have done differently or all that. So let's just get into the video. So day one started pretty positive. It was, we got our stuff, we got our supplies, we got our table, we got everything. Day one. Ah. <laughs> one, two, three. Perfect. Oh Ta-da, we're God. done. <laughs> Can you imagine playing? This is our wonderful table. This is my wonderful roommate, Danielle. I'll do like a slow zoom on your face. <laughs> Just like slowly zooms in as I'm introducing you. <laughs> so basically what we're doing now is we're gonna sand it off because that's what we saw people on TikTok doing. And then we're gonna do the base coat today. We don't know if we have painter's tape or not, so we're gonna wait a little bit, look for it. But while we do that, we're probably gonna trace everything. Yeah. And that's the plan for today. This should probably take like a week. We should also film this for TikTok. And then basically what we did was sanded everything. Sorry. <laughs> I've been doing this for like one minute, I already messed it up. We're definitely, I think we're doing something wrong. <laughs> but like, I don't really care. We're gonna show you guys like everything. the tape and everything. You just won't see like the final design to the end of the video, which I guess that's normal. Okay, so let's paint her, paint her up this table. And then we painted the table white. So we accidentally bought the wrong white. We accidentally bought a white pearl, which was iridescent. So we did a couple layers of that. This is shiny. I feel like it's gonna look good though, the shiny. We waited for it to dry. The whites usually dry pretty fast from what I've learned. The, the white pearl took a little bit longer to dry. We're about to blow dry the table because we're impatient. <laughs> I don't think this is the right technique. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not even close. No. The girl on TikTok made it look so fast. TikTok's alive. This is kind of what the layout's gonna look like. So we're gonna have like a rectangle here. Obviously no spaces here. This is just like a rough cut. So you guys can kind of get an idea and not see the final design. Table is taped and now we're gonna start painting. But we made some chips along the way so we're not gonna paint the ones that have the chips because we painted over them, if that makes sense. Okay, this is how I think we should lay it out. I think that we should put colors of each thing, like put like a little bit so we know what colors go in which and just paint it. So then we know where like everything's Every, going. Yeah. And we painted the sections that wanted to paint. This is the progress on day one here. We just did, again, the base layer. The only thing we have to do is we're doing like a stripe thing here, so we just have to wait for these two to dry. But I think it's looking pretty good. We had some color changes throughout. We have a lot of concoctions, so this is really, a, if we mess up, then we're screwed. End of day one. So that's basically what we did day one. Okay, so day two to whatever, we just painted the tables. We painted everything, did all our designs and all that, so it was pretty seamless in between. Okay, so we're currently on day two. Let's show you the table. It came out so good. The colors look amazing. So we traced the things yesterday. You can see up close. Oh, sneak peek by right here. <laughs> Like they're all laid out. We don't have all of them done, but we have most of them done. So I think we're just gonna work on this today and then just go from there. After every letter I breathe. Whew, I feel like I'm sweating through all this tissue paper. 
Okay, today's the day we take off the tape. Here's the final thing without the tape being taped off. We finished this yesterday and stuff like that. Did some touch-ups. I'm really nervous. I'm so scared. Okay, uh, should we do the corners at the same time? Okay. Or like this side at the same time? Yeah. One, two, three. Wow, oh my God, it's coming to life. That's so satisfying. So this is what it looks like without the tape. So pretty much all the white we had painted before pretty much came off as expected. So we're just gonna paint and touch up, paint in between the white and then touch up the individual colors. And then the final thing was to put the clear coat over the table. Um, I'm thankful enough to have a dad who's like super into crafts and woodworking and stuff. So he actually has a spray that's a clear spray. That's kind of like the polycrylic that people on TikTok and other videos pour over their table. We did about two or three sprays of the table just to make sure it was clear. It was n not going to move around and everything because we worked so hard on it. We don't want anything to happen. So I would suggest doing like two to four layers as well it's better to be safe than sorry to have more layers of it and that was basically the process of making the table so now i'm going to share my tips and tricks and what i thought i could do different and all that okay number one the one thing that i think we messed up on was not using a primer after we had already started painting we realized the primer we did not put a primer down we just painted the table we had a couple problems one problem that we had this day was this coral color so so the coral color was a different type of acrylic. We bought all matte acrylics except for this one. We bought it as a gloss one. We didn't realize it when we had bought it. So pretty much, I don't know if it was because of the sun or we didn't have a proper primer down. Basically, when we went to go put the tissue over it and trace it, the paint came off. And that was a huge problem. We had painted two sections that color, so that was not going to be okay. Because if you notice, like all these are like matte and then this one over here is a little bit glossy and i think like the heat maybe that's what we're thinking and then we have to repaint this one because it's like a gloss acrylic so how we trace it so how we trace it was what you do is do your design on your computer i used canva i thought that was just the easiest it has a variety of fonts you can also upload your own fonts and you can find stock images there that it's easy to just make the colors your own and then it's just you just save the image and you can blow it up and trace it from there also another tip that I haven't seen anyone do but what I did because 
the first time I traced something, I just took a random piece of tissue paper and it was for the big triangle and it was way too small. So I didn't want to waste any more tissue paper or time because it does take time to trace. Not as much time as you would think, but it still does take time. So what I did was I cut the shape of the triangles or the thing I was going to trace. So for example, if one of the triangle pieces I cut out a triangle from the tissue paper that was the size of the triangle and then I would tape it onto my computer the way that it was going to be on the thing and then I just simply trace it from there and then when you go to tape it on your pong table it's just you tape it on right away and it's exactly where you want everything to be and if you need to make some adjustments while you're painting or tracing then you just do that and then you just take a sharpie and just trace over the line. So there was this one section of the table, ending of the table, that I really wanted to make sure the text was crisp. It was like a really nice font and also it was one of the bigger pieces. So I wanted to make sure the text was whatever. So this is extremely extra, but take thin painter's tape that I found in my house, tape it, and then you can tape along where you want the edges and just paint over with the original color. And then if you really want to go into details and make sure all the lines, not even on just letters on anything, that was really helpful. It is really time consuming, but if you want it to be super crisp and you don't want any mistakes, then it may be worth the time for you. One of the biggest takeaways from this that was very stressful was mixing colors. When we originally painted the table, we got a bunch of pretty colors from mixing everything. Even if you remember what you mixed it with, most likely not always going to turn out the same as you painted it. So that is something to definitely think about. What happened with us is that we would paint and we'd be like, oh my god, it matches, but then it dries darker. Again, you do get some really pretty colors when you mix but if you're not able to find them again and you make a mistake or something then there's nothing you can really do about it another thing that really helped were these paint pens like they have a bunch of colors at michael's and the black one was really easy to work with it just filled in a bunch of spots to help me even out circles and all that trace over things if you have a smaller font it is just easier just to use a pen versus using the paint because sometimes the outlining just gets really complicated so if you really want to get into fine fine details a pen may help so the moment we've all been waiting for what took about a week to do but it is done here is the pong table <laughs> came out there was lots of struggles in between we started on Tuesday on everything and then we ended up finishing on Saturday and Saturday was just fixing up the details so it was like about five days of work which wasn't bad at all I honestly thought it was gonna take us longer and I didn't think it was gonna turn out as good as it did and so I'm really happy with the results we wanted to make it look not super girly like a little bit of feminine but also not so super cohesive and we wanted it to kind of be random so each thing is a thing of its own but it all still matters at the same time so I think we did a really good job and we brought like different aspects of everything so that is it for this video thank you guys for watching if you guys want more DIYs college stuff like this let me know yeah I feel like this table is gonna be really useful especially that we have all online classes so we have a lot of free time so yeah thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe I post every Monday and Thursday and I will see you guys next time bye